Let's begin with the clinical vignette. John, a 50-year-old man, is brought to the emergency room by his wife. Due to difficulty in speaking, the patient can correctly point to different body parts on command and patient become frustrated. Which of the following brain area is affected? If easier, basically the higher order language deficit. Where the dysarthria is basically the movement deficit. Is a decreased understanding are producing language appropriately in aphasia. Wherein dysarthria, motor inability to produce speech. Aphasia pathology basically lie in the cerebral hemisphere, usually on the left side. Aphasias are simply divided into the four types: Broca's, Wernicke's, conduction, and global aphasia. So Broca's aphasia is also known as expressive aphasia, in which the Broca area that located at the inferior frontal gyrus is damaged. In Broca's area, there is a decreased language production. The speech production is impaired in the Broca's aphasia, while the insight is intact. It means that the patient can understand and follow the command. So vernic aphasia is also known as a receptive or sensory aphasia where the vernic area that located in the superior temporal gyrus is damaged. In vernic's aphasia, the language comprehension is impaired. Patient does not follow your command in vernic's aphasia. So insight is not intact in the vernix aphasia. So conduction aphasia basically damage to the arcuate fasciculus that connect the Broca's and vernix area. While the global aphasia where the both Broca's and vernix areas are damaged. The damage of the basal ganglia produce Parkinson's disease where there is a decrease dopamine due to the damage of the dopaminergic neuron in the basal ganglia. Next is the Huntington disease where is increased dopamine and decrease acetylcholine and GABA. Last one is a Wilson disease due to the accumulation of the copper ion in the basal ganglia. Damage to the hippocampus produce interior grade amnesia, where is a difficulty to produce new memories.